Hello and welcome to Euphoria, a different look at the news. This week, the European Central Bank announces a major investment plan for the Eurozone, and Paris considers taking Fox News to court. Earlier this week, anti-Islamization movement Pegida saw its protests spread outside Germany. But on Wednesday, its figurehead, Lutz Bachmann, stepped down after German newspapers published a photo of him posing in what he called a joke photo. No, that's not it. There we go. Journalist Giles Dillnott pointed out the golden rule for any leader of a national movement in Germany against Islamification. Never have a pick of you as Hitler. On Thursday, the European Central Bank announced plans to devote billions of euros to prop up the struggling Eurozone economy. On Twitter, Finnish Prime Minister Alexander Stubb said, I have an inkling that the ECB's quantitative easing decision is the topic at the World Economic Forum in Davos today. Meanwhile, on Tuesday, Paris Mayor Anna Dago said she was thinking of suing Fox News. The American broadcaster said her city had no-go zones where non-Muslims and even police were afraid to go. On Twitter, Parisians responded by publishing some photos of these no-go neighborhoods. Admittedly, that last one does seem a bit suspicious. France's Le Petit Journal even sent its brave reporters to investigate these dangerous areas. Paris is a very, very dangerous city, probably the most in the world. Look at John now. He was in a terrorist restaurant, Islamist. Paris, my God, Paris is very dangerous. John, come back, John. John, it's too dangerous. Come back, come back. Run away, run away. Oh my God, a couscous. For more euphoria and links to this week's content, check out our website at euronetplus-connect.eu. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching. See you next time. 